What's going on guys, in this video I'm going to be breaking down one of my kind of unsung heroes of the New England Patriots offensive playbook, and it's the Gun Doubles Flex, and we're going to be talking about how you can actually have a trips tight end, a bunch, a U-trips, but you can also have a standard or traditional spread offense within this New England Patriots playbook. Now if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I want to encourage you to do so. My name is Cody and I post videos that can help people become better Madden players on both sides of the ball. And in this video, we are specifically focusing in on a New England Patriots offensive tip. If you've not gotten the New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. New England Patriots offense is, in my opinion, it's been the best offense for years in Madden. It's had the most, um, it's just got the most stuff, um, the most usable stuff. Every year, it's got split close, it's got a slot, it's got uh, doubles, it's got U-trips, it's got trips, it's got bunch, it's got compression. And the formation we're going to focus on in this video is the, the doubles flex. What's cool is it's got the spread wide slot and the doubles flex, which are really good. They kind of look basically the same. And so we're going to talk about doubles flex in this video. And again, if you have not gotten my complete New England Patriots offensive guide, I break down literally everything that you can do from the New England Patriots playbook. We go into depth about all these formations. And I think the guide is just like 10 or 15 bucks. So I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description for you guys. Um, but anyway, gun doubles flex. This uh, this formation is really, really good. Um, it's just got a lot of usable stuff. And um, today we are going to be talking about the, I think it's the, the Y sale. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Y sale in this video. Um, and there's so much you can do with this with Hot Route Master if you have a quarterback with Hot Route Master. If you don't have a quarterback with Hot Route Master, maybe you're playing regs, you can still run this. It's still very good. Um, it's just Hot Route Master does help a little bit. So anyway, why sale um, is what we're going to be focused on. And what we're going to show you is this kind of traditional flood concept uh, from this against a traditional Mabel coverage. More than likely, um, this is kind of the defense that you're going to force them to play. You're going to force their user to be on this side of the field. The reason why is because the quick base from this is, is a really good run. But this is honestly a really simple play. All we're going to do, you could literally just run it stock if you want to. I like to smart route the X um, if if it's, um, you know, like deeper than 10 yards. If it's not deeper than 10 yards, just go as is. The other thing you could do is you could take triangle and you could put him on a hitch. You could motion him to the right. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Um, I like to motion him to the right. And the reason why is because if it's man coverage, that route will absolutely torch it. The other thing that I like about it is he kind of like almost acts like a shield for the running back. But let me show you this man read. This is a really, really good man beater. Um, if you're ever struggling, because the thing about this formation is I guarantee you that you will get some type of press man defense if you're running spread. It's just the way that most people think they can stop it. Look at how wide, I mean, look at how open that is. Now, that was kind of fluky. Normally they're not gonna be able to, to do that. Um, let me show it to you one more time. You'll see it, it, it probably will beat it this time. But again, you just wanna snap him like right there. And what you'll see is it gives him ridiculous amount of leverage. I don't know what Smith's doing, but as you can see, you know, really easy route over the middle of the field. Now, the other reason that I like this is it cre it's got multiple different high lows. Um, and Madden is all about high lows. You know, this is something that Jay Wall, I learned from him uh, in one of his videos. He talks about, you know, Madden is all about high lows. That's what it's about. What I like about this specific offense, though, if you look at Antonio Brown, see how far out he is? If I motion him to the left, You'll see he's going to go all the way across. So this can create kind of a tray wide flex uh, formation. This is a unique thing because the width of the um, – the reason I like double so much is because of how far out he is. Like if I go to spread slot, you'll see he's going to move in, and that's not a good look. So anyways, I just like how far out these guys can get. Uh, I wish that – if I motion Godwin to the left, I wish he would go on the line of scrimmage on this, but he doesn't. Um, but it is what it is. And then if I motion Evans, I just want to show you. So if I motion Evans to the right, he's going to create, you know, trips right now. So you can do a lot with these motions. That's what's really cool about this offense. But anyways, let's talk about the actual uh, flood uh, to the right side. This is just a high-low. Uh, but what's really cool about it is this tight end route is really, really good. You can basically 
Um, it's a man beater. Um, it's really good against man. We talked about man coverage being a thing that people are going to do. The problem is they have to match him up with a linebacker. He's not going to get matched up with a corner. So when you run this motion right here, you're going to see this little kind of movement of that linebacker. It's going to get him off the jam. And as you can see, he's going to be consistently beating man-to-man -man coverage, whether it be press or not press. Now, the other thing that I like about this now, please uh, bear with me a little bit. I've got my purple zones are on 10. Um, my purple zones are on 10. So uh, the reason I'm, I'm saying that is because if you're if if you don't see them like take this running back, you can throw the running back all day long. Like the running back is a really clean, really easy read for you. It's it I throw it all the time. Like it's just really simple. Um, it's just a really simple read. But let me show you let me show you this uh, this deep dig to square. Um, this deep dig is really good. It's a, it's like similar to the I think it's a little bit better than the deep dig on the play flood from gun bunch and what i like about it it beats man and it also beats zone and so the the beauty of spread um is in the is found in the spacing um they just have to play so disciplined um and you can hit these little digs these digs are so smooth um against really anything that they want to do defensively now, one other thing I want to talk about is, let's say that their user, um, for whatever reason, let's say he goes left at the snap, okay? And then let's say that, you know, maybe they have like a yellow zone, okay? Um, if this happens, which it's very unlikely, normally they're going to climb with the tight end and then you're going to work the dig. But what you'll see is you can low ball this tight end route right off rip. So if they're on the left side, you can do that. Again, I will tell you, uh, my experience running this, they're going to climb with the tight end, so they're going to kind of sit like right over here. This is why the dig route is so good. This is honestly why I actually like to typically keep this zig over here on the right because he's going to pull all these zones out, and it leaves this nice pocket for me to be able to hit that deep, deep dig route to Evans. Another reason I like this little whip route uh, to triangle, another little thing that you could do if you wanted to, is you could actually put triangle on a, on a drag, like if you, a traditional drag, motion snap. And what I like about this is this is a really nice little shallow crossing style concept. And even if they're playing, if they're playing ten yard um, curl flats, you get an easy five to six yards. And five to six yards is fine. I mean, we're going to continue to move the chains. We're going to continue to be consistent offensively. So. This is just a simple play. It's really good against the meta. Um, it's really good against, you know, really anything the defense is going to do. Uh, if you want to, if you have Hot Rod Master, you can put him on a traditional corner route. Um, I don't necessarily love the corner route because you see how kind of the 10-yard curl flat can kind of take it away. So I'm not a big fan um, of that route. I would rather just leave the out. I think the out is unique. I think the out... Um, causes some problems for the traditional zone drops and you're just going to be very consistent with this. This running back route, I can't stress enough, once they start to climb on this outside here, see that little pocket? And again, obviously the user, but with that user jumps, if he if he goes left um, or if he middle reads him, that's where you're going to have a lot of opportunity. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So like if I do something like that, okay, uh, just watch this this X route. You're going to see he gets this nice little position, kind of soft spot in the zone um, relatively easily. So Mabel coverage is obviously the best way to play this, but the route to X is is really, really good. There's a lot you can do out of this too. There's, there's several things. If you get a cover two look, um, a lot of people like cover two against spread. I'm not sure why because like spread is designed to kill cover two, but if you get a cover two look, you just pass lead circle to the right, as you can see, right over the cloud, easy read. And again, it comes back to the spacing of spread is so good that if they run cover two, you're gonna be able to easily get over the top of them. We talked about man coverage, we talked about uh, cover three Mabel, and then let's talk just briefly about like cover four, um, just in case you do get a cover four. Cover four, um, this is where you're just gonna continue to work your flood. Um, this X route is going to get a lot more open against like a cover four. Um, you got to remember, if they're usering on the tight end, that's fine. Then you want to really work your backside dig. Okay, so it's either tight end or the backside dig. Now, um, this triangle receiver, another thing you could do if you want to, 
is you can put him on a little underneath hitch uh, and just hit him quick. If they're really dropping back like they are, easy. Just put him on a little hitch and go. Um, one other little thing you can do is you can use this option route. I want to talk about this specifically against that cover three Mabel for just a minute. So because of us, because of the spacing of this formation, you're going to have a little bit more opportunity. So you'll see here with this option route. See how that zone will continue to drift to the outside, even if I don't have a flat zone to pull it out there. That's that's unique to a zone drop defense. Um, you know. So anyways, but this this play is so powerful. There's so much you can do. This inside streak right here, the tight end, is so dangerous that again, once they see that tight end going vertical, where he's starting to run like a vertical route, they have to go get him. Um, they can't really do anything else. And so that leaves so much opportunity for this backside to be worked. Um, if you wanted to put, if you wanted to put uh, Chris Godwin on a, um, if you wanted to put Chris Godwin on like a like a flat route, you'll see he's going to pull them out really nicely. But again, this is this little pocket right there. Boom! Just lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up over and over again. I love the hitch. Um, I mean, that you could do all kinds of things. The other little thing that I didn't hit on is let's say that they're running, you know, cover three Mabel, right? And they have the yellow over here. I just want you to watch this little uh, little cut from triangle. Right there, I can lowball that kind of um, in a tight little window. I can, I can work that concept a little bit. So I can at least force them to have to, you know, wrestle with, am I gonna climb with the tight end? Nine times out of 10, they're gonna climb the tight end route. I just guarantee, just from playing spread so much this year. But this cut right here, easy read, and you're getting five to 10 yards. So, you know, they're going to have to respect that. So, you know, spread is all about taking the underneath. It's all about taking the little things because it's going to open up the big things later on. But anyways, this is a really, really good uh, offensive formation to mix in to your trips tight end or your U-trips or your gun bunch or your split close or your ace slot. Really, really good. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide, you can get that down in the description. And I'm pretty sure it's only like 15 bucks. Thanks for your time.